Hello everyone, welcome to Level Chain channel. My name is Claudio Fonseca and today we are going to talk about the data link options on the 737 from PMDG. On this series of video, I'm explaining all the options that we have for the PMDG. That's why I created a document. You can download this document on the video description and I'm going to show this document right now so if you are looking for something else that is not the data link you can refer to this uh, video list i call video list for the pmdg 737 options and today you're watching the data link video where we are going to talk about company cost index alternate minimum runway length and alternate ILS requirement but if you are looking for something else like for example you want to know uh, something about the dual battery package then you just have to go to the ETOPS video for example just click on this um, green rectangle here and it will redirect you uh, to the ETOPS video I always update this document and you can always use the same link available so today as we are going to talk about data link we go inside the 737 pmdg and then we go to our cdu and we can punch the menu bottom then pmdg setup aircraft equipments and the page number three is data link so page number three is data link we have three options here the first one company cost index and you can choose a number for your company cost index what it does uh, data link uh, it's mimic on the 737 from pmdg because we do not have a system to access for example uh, our own company and to know what is the cost index for this flight or that the cost index that the company uses nowadays when you request the performance for example you use SimBrief to create your flight and you are taking the performance from SimBrief PMDG cannot recognize the cost index that was selected by SimBrief or the cost index that you selected on, on uh, SimBrief or any other program. That's why you need to come here and pre-select the one that you want. So let's just uh, change the number here. For example, uh, your cost index is 25. So you change here to 25. And then you are going to see when you request performance we just requested performance it takes some time to simulate that is requesting through the data link system and you are getting an answer from uh, the company server so in a couple of seconds we are going to have like uh, the performance init uplink so we can load now this performance okay so the number that will be populated here in the cost index is the number that you have on your settings is not the number that you have on uh, your uh, flight plan that you created uh, with your flight planner okay uh, reserves itself it can take it from uh, for example from SimBrief zero fuel weight it does not come from SimBrief it comes from the airplane itself so if we go here in menu FS actions sorry menu PMDG setup uh, yeah it was fs actions and payload you will see that the zero fuel weight that is on your airplane now it goes into the zero fuel weight your performance in it page okay so this is not also data link this is taken from the payload that you current have in your airplane and another thing that it populates is the cruise altitude cruise altitude is also not from your flight planner is the first level based on the direction that you are going that is below your trip altitude okay so in this case trip out to 337 it was going to give us 330 or 320 in this case which is the first even level that we have below 337 okay so to mimic the data link system the only thing that it will come from your flight planner is the reserves and for the cost index okay you need to change it from your aircraft equipment page 3 
company cost index. I'm going to erase this one and I'm going to revert back to my standard which is 6. I'm using the current Go Airlines in Brazil cost index, so I just changed to 6. Now we are going to see that if I request my performance, everything will be the same because the source is still the same, apart from the cost index that it will be moved now to number 6. So we are waiting the performance initialization to come and we can load it. And now, as you can see, cost index 6, again, the number that we selected here. And will be always like this. The number that you have on your company cost index will be the number that you have on your cost index when you select and request performance init. Okay? Uh, the second thing that we have on this, I'm going to just uh, execute this for now. The second thing that we have on data link is alternate minimum runway length that is in feet okay so here we have 6000 feet okay we have to use uh, this number in feet that means when you go for example to your index and alternate destination on the alternate destination list if we were downloading this from the company system you will have a couple of options and those options will only show you runway with at least 6,000 feet length okay so any runway that is not at least 6,000 feet would be removed from this list will not show from this list if PMDG had an option to um, to data link them uh, or to mimic the data link which is not working nowadays okay uh, please pay attention this is for the alternate destination this is not for the nearest airports okay and I'm going to show you this because the nearest airports you have for example here Sierra Bravo Romeo Juliet which is Rio de Janeiro Santos Dumont Airport and the runway there is 4400 feet okay so it's below 6000 feet it will not show here if it were alternate destination from the company itself okay for the nearest airport the settings are in a different option here that i will show you in a different video okay so do not make a mistake thinking about that you are changing the nearest airport based on this one alternate minimum runway length this is for the alternate once again alternate destinations okay uh, as we do not have a data link function working for this okay it doesn't really matter the 6000 feet because i can select runways that are less than 6000 uh, feet long like again santos dumont okay you can select anything, any airport that is in the database here, okay? It doesn't have to comply with this alternate minimum runway length. This is only if you were simulating the data link and this data was coming from the company, okay? I think you may, I made it very clear. So basically for now, as I talk to you, uh, we are on the April 12th on 2023, this video. Uh, so... Uh, this is not, let's say, working with PMDG right now because we are not getting the alternate destinations from the data link. If we were getting it, it was going to sort it out and take the runways or the airports that do not have uh, at least 6,000 uh, feet length runway it will be removed from this and of course you can change it for example you can type in 4500 feet you can type it uh, 8000 feet and so on okay so i keep the standard here that comes from pmdg 6000 feet is not going to really affect you the third option that we have on the data link is the alternate ils requirement on the same page if we were going to have a data link with a couple of options for us to alternate you have the option to select here if you want that these airports that are shown here they have an ILS or not if you say that alternate ILS it is a requirement if you keep it in yes 
the airports that are coming from the data link and do not have at least one ILS procedure, they will be removed from this list. They will not be shown on this list. If you take as no, then in this case, anything will be here. Okay, so this two information, alternate minimum runway length and alternate ILS requirement, they will show the airports based on your selection for the alternate destination when you are getting then from the data link system, okay? It doesn't change manual inputs, it's just for the data link system. I've seen that most of the companies uh, in Europe, for example, they keep this option as yes, because you have a lot of airports around you and most of them, they have ILS. And uh, when you really need to alternate, uh, you really need an airport uh, with a good infrastructure so you don't have to worry much about it. Of course, you still have to consult your NOTAMs, you still have to, to uh, watch out for the weather, especially when the weather is marginal, but giving you an ILS, it improves your chance to alternate to that airport. Otherwise, like in Brazil, uh, when I was uh, flying in Go, we didn't have the data link, but I'm pretty sure that the company will select this to alternate ILS requirement to know because most of the small airports or the airports that are not in the state capitals, they will not have an ILS, especially if you go uh, towards the center and west side of Brazil and the north side like uh, the Amazon forest. Okay, a couple of airports, they have an ILS, but uh, most of them they do not have. So if you restrict it for no ILS, you will not have many options uh, in Brazil for example. But if you are in the United States, if you are in Canada, if you are in Europe, okay, it's a good idea for you to keep them on. It's up to you, but those two functions, they are not really working uh, nowadays because the PMDG cannot read the alternate destination list from the data link, okay? These are some uh, information that they are already here in case they update the system and they give you this option or the uh, flight planner that you used uh, it creates these alternate options and it will populate here I we hope so based on this two information okay so this is what I have for data link so have in mind that the data link option is something that is being mimicked on the PMDG. Uh, what I mean by mimic, this is not a real data link system. The real data link system, once again, you type whatever you need and you request like the performance or the route, it will send a message to the company system and the company system based on your selections will give you for example, the route for your sp for that day for your flight and will give you the performance for that day for your flight based on what they have uh, running at that moment. In the PMDG, you are only access files that you already have on your PC. So you need to download it from Simbrief. You need to take everything from your flight planner into the correct folder in PMDG. So it will import the right way, uh, simulating a data link system. Okay. I hope you learned something. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends. We are talking about all the 737 options and settings that we have for the PMDG. See you soon. Bye bye.